plans for a controversial new toll road in central Florida could be just hours away from taking another big step forward. And we're talking about an extension of Osceola Parkway. And there's been debate for months now over this plan to build a road through the area known as Split Oak Forest southeast of Lake Nona. Now a new agreement's been reached that could make it happen. News 6's Mark Lehman's following this story live this morning. Mark, the Expressway Authority set to vote on the deal today, but not everyone's happy about it. Yeah, a group called Friends of Split Oak has been very critical on lifting protections on the forest. Now, this is where the toll road is being proposed. Now, critics say the 60 acres surrounding the road has much more value than the 100 acres of nearby land that's agreed to be donated in exchange. It's the next step in what's been a controversial plan to extend Osceola Parkway through part of the Split Oak Forest. The Expressway Authority is set to vote on a deal to exchange more than 1,500 acres of land and $66 million for 60 acres in Split Oak where the toll road will be built. We just view this as a win-win for the environment and for the people and the public. Florida Fish and Wildlife Chairman Rodney Barreto, who's in California, spoke to us via Zoom. It came after FWC agreed to lift protections on the 60 acres of land last week. We got 1,550 more uh, acres available to the public. Now we're going we're gonna to manage them. We're going to rehabilitate them. The deal, though, has been met with disapproval from environmentalists, some booing after FWC's vote. Critics of the deal saying it's not a fair one because the land through Split Oak has much more biodiversity than what the state is receiving in exchange. Every square inch of Split Oak is valuable. Now, the Expressway Authority will likely be hearing objections from critics during public comment this morning. And despite those objections, the board is expected to approve the measure. This meeting gets underway at 9 a.m. We're now reporting live in Orlando. Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.